Hi friends, I'm really excited to bring you my new flow, happiness and heart openers. So the two go together really, really well. In order to you know, be able to feel the fullness of life, we have to live and lead with an open heart. So we're going to kind of reverse some of that habitual sitting and anxious postures that we seem to have and kind of open that up so that we are available to feel the full range of emotions and not just happiness, but we'll talk a little bit about how we can find, still find the sweetness in things like sadness and fear because there's always a way to be okay with what is and to find that inner contentment knowing that we have a full range of emotions and that will always be the case, but being able to find that sweet spot and that happiness in all. I hope you join me. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're gonna to do a happiness and heart opener flow. So Santosha is a concept that means Complete contentment. Sounds pretty difficult. So how is it that we do that? And being able to be completely content, uh, to be happy, you know, we look, look at a few things that cause us suffering, the things that cause us not to be happy. And a lot of times those things are grasping onto an experience, um, a person, something outside of ourselves. And also expectations. When we have these expectations of things and um, life doesn't pan out that way. We just don't have control of that. So learning to be okay with what is, is really kind of where the concept of contentment comes in. And not just being okay with what is, but really being aware of what is. You know, being able to sit down and be like, okay, this is what's happening. And whether it be, I'm feeling sad right now, not trying to cover that up, and fake happiness, or I'm angry right now. Not that those things are bad, but being able to be aware that that's what you're feeling. So if we're only wanting to feel happiness and we're trying to block these other feelings of fear, anger, you know, you can't only block selective emotions. You wind up blocking you know, the happiness and the joy as well. So really it's being open to the full spectrum of emotions will bring more happiness and more contentment. And that's where the heart openers come in. So when we're in stress and anxiety, our body automatically wants to roll forward. And this also causes us to send signals to the nervous system, just this posture and the breathing that comes along with it to send signals to the nervous system to be in that fight or flight mode. So by deepening the breath, opening the heart, it's actually sending physiological signals to relax, to open, and that's really you know where we're wanting to go, to be open to life and all the experiences that come with it. So today we will get that heart space open up, opened up. Let's go ahead and start in a seated position. So I'm sitting up on a block. If this feels um, good to you, then you can sit up here or you can also sit cross-legged. So whatever feels more comfortable. Let's go ahead and arrive. Close your eyes. You can bring the hands in the lap or the hands on the thighs or the knees. Just start to deepen the breath. Slowing it down. Every exhale may be saying to yourself, I am here. I am present. I'm feeling a rootedness with every exhale. Start to come from the mind down into the body. Start to feel instead of think. And when we think of heart space, it's not only front, um, the chest, it's also the back of the heart. So we're wanting to expand all the way around. So we'll do this breath practice where we'll do a three-part breath. So the inhale will have three parts. The first part, you'll expand into the chest, the collarbone. On the second part, expand into the back body, the back of the heart. And then the third part will expand the belly. 
So you can kind of feel how you can move the breath around in the body. And then we'll fully exhale. So go ahead and release, exhale. Inhale into the heart, the collarbone. Inhale into the back body. And then inhale into the belly. Fully release out the mouth. Again, inhale, heart. Inhale, back of the heart. Belly, release out the mouth. Once more, inhale, heart, back of the heart. Belly, release. About twice more with your own breath, own pace. Feeling how the breath can move. Begin to come to an inhale and exhale that you can take through the practice. Remembering that the breath is the most important part. The poses are decoration. So if you notice yourself getting away, getting away from the breath or getting short of breath, just stop what you're doing. Maybe come into child's pose or any resting pose and match back up with your breath. Connect back in. And you always have the chance to begin again. Just pick up where you left off. Aspect of realizing what is, to being clear about what actually is, is if you're in a pose too deep and you can't breathe, or you've lost your breath and you need to slow down. Instead of you know burling through, being aware of what is and slowing it back down. One more, inhale. Exhale through the nose. And for the rest of practice, if it feels comfortable, inhale and exhale out the nose. Bring the hands to heart center. Bow the head if you'd like to set an intention here. Maybe an intention to feel all the emotions, all the things. Have that full tapestry of experience. Next inhale, open the eyes, open the arms wide into a T. Gaze up, shine the heart forward. And then exhale, round the back, bring the fingertips to touch. Curl the chin down. Inhale, fingertips come up as does the gaze. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll go twice more like this with the breath. Inhale, open, heart forward. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, gaze up, fingers up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So connecting breath with movement. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale. Mm, exhale. Beautiful. Bring the arms out forward. So you're reaching towards me, but then plug the shoulders back. Feel what that feels like to plug the shoulders back, shoulder blades down. So on an inhale, let's follow the right thumb. Inhaling, pulling back that arrow and follow the thumb all the way behind you. Inhale here. Exhale, drop that hand down to the ground and inhale, lean back with the left hand. Maybe you pick the hips up here. And exhale, come back. Both arms out, left side. Inhale, pull back, opening the heart to the left, gazing back at the left thumb. Exhale here. And another inhale, twisted. Exhale, left hand comes down, right arm comes back. Opening up, maybe the hips come up. And exhale, back to forward one more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, let's come straight down, arm plants. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale forward. Left side. Inhale, left of the heart opens. Exhale, plant left hand, open up. Exhale, back down. Bring the hands to heart center. Release the arms with the shoulders, kind of release. And let's come into tabletop position. Hands are wide. Wrist under the shoulders. Knees under the hips. Most of the weight in this L shape of the hand. Good. Start taking some cat and cow. So drop the belly. Bring the heart forward. Another thing to help you bring the heart forward is to pull the hands back towards the knees. It brings the heart a little, a little more open. Exhale, push the ground away. Push the fingertips up towards the top of the mat. Belly towards the spine, spine towards the sky. Now begin to move with your breath. Inhale, coming forward, hands and knees pull towards each other. Exhale, round, cat pose. Again. All right, we'll start to switch it up a little bit. Come forward, cow pose, shine the heart forward. Exhale, as you round the back, push the ground away, child's pose. Exhale. Inhale, come forward, roll the shoulder blades back, pull the heart through. And exhale, round as you push back, child's pose. Inhale, come forward. This time, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, drop the knees. Cow pose, untuck the toes. Exhale, child's pose. So we'll go twice like that. Inhale, cow. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Moving with breath. Starting to feel the flow. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Stay right here. Extend the arms long. So checking back in with the breath, feel, feeling the inhale into the back of the heart. So as if your back would come a little closer to the ceiling on an inhale. Exhale, sinking into the thighs, thighs into the ground. Another inhale, back of the heart. And exhale, release. Start to gaze forward, and we're just gonna kind of slither onto our bellies here. Bring the hands wide, the chin can come on the ground. So the hands are kind of tinted up, elbows are up. And we're gonna press the toes and the pubic bone down into the ground, pull in the belly, start to push the ground away, lift the chest. Now send the elbows back, Pushing the ground away, more shining into the heart open, pulling the belly in, gazing up. Pushing pubic bone down into the ground. One more inhale here. And exhale, release. You can drop the hands down. We'll do this one more time. Funky Cobra. All right. Tint the fingers, elbows go up. You start to push the ground away, pull the chest up. Next inhale, bring the elbows back, push the ground, pull the belly in, push the pubic bone down. Lots of little things, but it'll protect the low back. One more big inhale. 
And exhale, release. Bring the hands down by the side. Drop one cheek to the side and feel your heart beating against your mat. Maybe you can wiggle the hips out here. Hands underneath the shoulders. Gazing forward, pull the shoulders away from the ears as if you could pull your elbows down towards your feet. On an inhale, let's come up low cobra. Not a lot of weight in the hands, but all the same things in the legs and the feet. Pushing down into the ground. Exhale, release. Twice more like this. Inhale, come up, shoulders come away, elbows back towards the toes. Exhale, release. And this time let's come up into high cobra. So weight will come in the hands. Inhale, come up. Shoulders away from ears, pull the belly in, release down. And once more, high cobra. Inhale, lift, push the ground away, belly in, and push back, child's pose. So either of those are options for heart openers throughout the practice. Come back into the hands, press back, downward facing dog, pedaling out for a moment, sending the tailbone up towards the sky, kind of opening the calves, the hamstrings, pushing the ground away. Find stillness for just a moment, have a slight bend in the knees to send the tail towards the sky. Notice how that lengthens the hamstrings heart comes towards the thighs. Inhale, back of the heart. Exhale, heart sinks. Again, inhale, back of the heart. Exhale, heart sinks. Gaze towards the hands. And we'll slowly walk up. So maybe you come on the tiptoes. Bring the feet wide. Pour the crown over, grab opposite elbows and kind of sway side to hot side. So let this pose, this pouring out, kind of represent letting go of those things that no longer serve us, those resentments, those things that we hang on to that are not serving our happiness. Those things that we don't have control over, the things that we grasp for and the expectations as much as we would like to, we can't control um, other people or surroundings. But we can begin to learn to control our thoughts, our reactions. A couple more sways, feeling traction in the back. Drop the hands. Let's take the right hand on the ground, bend the right knee deeply, and we'll peel open like we did seated with the left hand gazing up towards the left thumb. Push the ground away. Next inhale, come up onto the finger. So we're coming up halfway, pull in the belly. And then again, inhale, come all the way up, gazing back at the left thumb. Let's take the hand to the hip. Inhale, right arm comes back as the hips come forward. Big inhale here. Exhale, let's step the right foot off the side of the mat. Grab the right hand with the left hand. So kind of pulling up and over towards the side. Find a little buoyancy in the legs, getting a big side body stretch. Turn the heart up towards the sky. One more big inhale here. And then exhale, swoop to the left and come all the way down. We'll plant the hands and step back with the right foot. Plant the right hand. One more time, let's twist open to the left, getting lots of twists in. And then drop the back knee. Couple of options here. You can take the left hand to the knee and spin the chest open. Or you can grab for the back foot. 
You can also use a strap right here, grabbing back, leaving a little bend in this arm to open the heart towards the sky. You can even tilt the head back here. One more big inhale. Exhale, gently release that foot if you have it. Plant the hand, let's step back up. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins, shine the heart forward, so a little bit of cobra in the back. Exhale, bow forward. Twice more like that. Inhale, halfway lift, shining the heart. Knees are a little bit bent, tailbone up towards the sky, just like in down dog. Pull the belly in, and then pour out. Once more, inhale, shine the heart forward and pour it out, release, beautiful. Plant the left hand, we'll bend the left knee deeply. So pushing the ground, pushing the ground away here, we'll begin to follow that right thumb as we open up the right side of the heart, gazing back at the left thumb. Inhale onto the fingertips. Pull the belly in, release. Inhale, let's come all the way up, staying twisted. Taking the hand to the hip. Inhale, come back, reach back. And then let's step off the side of the mat, grab the left hand, pull open to the right side as you spin the heart open to the left. Finding some buoyancy here and a big juicy side body stretch. Another big inhale. Exhale, let's swing the hands down, plant them. Step back with the left foot, lunge. Left hand plants, twisting open to the right, pulling back on the right hip, and then dropping the left knee. Either hand to the thigh, pushing the knee away and opening the heart, or reaching back, getting a quad stretch as well. If you have the quad stretch, remember to bend that arm, open the chest, maybe even lean the head back. Another big inhale here. Next exhale, spin the hand back around. Let's take a big step up. Left foot meets the right. Halfway lift. And bow forward. This time let's take the arms wide. We'll come all the way up. And hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Take some inventory. How are you feeling? What is right now? What is in your body? What is in your mind? Come back to your breath. Be able to be with your body today as it is, knowing that our bodies are always changing not having expectations of being able to do maybe what you did yesterday or expectations of um, new poses, new things that you're doing that you should automatically be able to do them. Just having some, being able to cultivate some compassion and being with what's actually happening today, where our bodies are and being content and happy with that. Hands together. We'll start a little flow here. So moving with breath. Inhale, lift up, hands touch. Exhale, arms behind the back. Grasp hands. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. I'm bending the knees slightly, shining the heart forward as I pull the fist down towards the heels. Exhale with knees bent, bow forward. Inhale here. Exhale, let the arms go heavy. Inhale, release the hands to the shins, halfway lift. 
And then exhale, plant the hands, step back with the right foot. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down. And you can come down on the knees as well. Untuck the toes. Inhale, cobra. Higher low. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale here. Exhale here. Again, in. And with an out, swoop the hands back, grab the palms together. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and let the fist pull you all the way up. Inhale, gaze up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Downward facing dog, plant the hands, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here, and release. Step towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and bow forward. Rise all the way up. Hmm. Hands to heart center. Left side, inhale, lift. Exhale, hands behind the back, slight bend in the knees as you inhale, shine the heart up. And exhale, knees bend, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, halfway lift, release the hands to the shins. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot steps back. Inhale, come forward, gaze up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, belly. Inhale, high, low cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale here. Exhale. Again, drink it in. Imagine the back body rising. Exhale, bring the hands together behind the back. Inhale, pulls you all the way up. Gaze up, heart forward. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, plant the hands. Exhale, tuck the toes, push back. Downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale here. Good. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And bow forward. Lift all the way up. And hands to heart center. Release the arms. Close the eyes. Maybe spread the feet a little bit for balance. Again, notice your body, notice the mind it is right now. Without having to push things away, physical sensations or mental thoughts, I'm just becoming aware in this practice of seeing. Go ahead and open the eyes again. Just bring the hands together, bring the feet back together. Let's lift up and sit back, chair pose. 
Inhale, heart forward. And exhale, sink a little bit lower. And one more time like that. Inhale, heart. Exhale, sink the hips. One more, why not? Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back with the right foot. Bring the back knee down on the ground and we'll come up to a lunge. So instead of sinking here, step into the front foot so it brings you more 90 degree angle. You can have something underneath uh, the right knee if that feels better. But instead of sinking, we're wanting to pull everything in, pull the belly in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale again, hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders, gaze up. Now maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, arms come up by the ears and back, gaze up. Good, plant the hands. Straighten the front leg. This is a wonderful place for blocks to bring the earth a little closer to you. And plus, whenever we just straight bow forward, that closes this heart space off. So instead, we can keep a, some integrity in the low back, keep the heart open. And to get that same stretch, bend in the front knee just a little bit and then send the tailbone sit bones up towards the sky. So it's gonna be more of an action. You can't see it as much, but it's that same same stretch, same intensity. So breathing into that discomfort, that sensation. And then coming back forward into the lunge, you can move the blocks up here. We'll come in to pyramid pose. So step the back foot in about a foot, depends on, I'm speaking from a six foot body, so it depends on your body. But hands on the blocks. So it's like that halfway lift, I'm finding the length, sending the tailbone up towards the sky, and then exhale, folding forward. Whoo, get into the hamstring, twice more like this. Inhale, halfway lift, pushing like a gas pedal into the front foot. Exhale, fold forward, gaze back at the back. Foot. Lift the heel. Inhale, halfway lift. And fold forward. Good. Let's step up. Right foot meets the left. Halfway. Pour it out. With a bend in the knees, rise all the way up. Hands touch and back to heart center, good. Inhale, lift and sink back, chair pose. So twice, opening the heart, let the arms go wide to leave space for the neck, exhale, sink. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, sink. Again, lift, and fold forward. Whew. Burns. Inhale, lift. But can you be with that sensation? Plant the hand, step back, left foot. Plant the back knee. A blanket is nice here if that feels good for you. So we'll come up into a lunge. Again, not sinking forward. We wanna keep the, the hips, integrity in the hips. So standing down into that front leg. Inhale, arms rise. So as if I was gonna come around and pull up on your ears, everything lifts. Bring the hands behind the back. Roll the heart open. And then now maybe sink a little bit deeper if it's available. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, arms come up and back. So slight back bend. And then exhale, plant the hands to the floor, to the blocks. 
and we'll straighten the front leg. So again here, toes are pulling back, slight bend in the knee, hips are going, or the tailbone is curling and going up. I'm feeling a big sensation but we don't need to close the heart off here. We can stay up and still get the same stretch. You can kind of wiggle into it a little bit too. That seems to help. Breathing into sensation. Again, inhale. Exhale. You can move the hands, the blocks up a little bit. Pyramid pose. So the back foot steps up and goes off to the side a little bit, pushing like a gas pedal into the front foot. Inhale, we halfway lift, shining the heart, finding length from tail to crown. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale. And exhale, riding the wave of breath once more. Good, stepping up, left foot meets the right. Halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward and rise all the way up. Hands to heart center. Good, lift up. And bow forward. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back again, right foot. This time we'll come all the way up, knee stays up, lift high. If you need a little bit more balance, I mean you can always bring the knee back down, but you can also separate the feet a little bit more, so they're more on train tracks rather than in a line. So inhale, lifting that back knee can be bent as well. One more inhale here. And then exhale, let's open up, warrior two, getting into the groin, sinking low. Inhale, let's lift, gaze up. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. And one more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, sink low. Bring the left hand, the left elbow to the knee. The right hand comes up towards the sky. You can also use your block here on the outside, whichever one feels better for you. But lifting up, pulling back on the left hip here, and you're not dumping into the left arm, so the shoulder comes in if you're kind of dumping, so roll it out. You can think about opening a jar to the left with that whole arm, if that makes any sense. Reaching up, bring the hand to the heart, open the heart towards the sky, and then let it drape back behind. Dial it all the way to the ear, the arm. Bring the left arm out as well, big strengthening pose. And then we'll swing the hands down as we shift the weight to the back, bend in the back knee, rainbow warrior. And then inhale, we'll come back around, drop the back knee, gaze up. Beautiful. Plant the hands, step forward. Halfway lift and bow. Fun little transition. Inhale, lift all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So what can help you in that transition is pulling up on the pelvic floor, which will engage the low belly muscles. So when you're going from kind of side to side, you have that center, you have that core engaged. So let's move to the other side. Fully exhale. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, finally. Plant the hand, step back with the left foot. Kind of prepare here. Go ahead and pull up on the pelvic floor. As you lift the arms, you can bend in that back knee a little bit, maybe even find some buoyancy. One more inhale here, 
and then exhale, open up, warrior two. So pulling back on the right hip, checking this front knee that it's not coming in, but it's in line with the toes. Inhale, come up, gaze up. Exhale, so we're following that front thumb. Inhale, up. And exhale, sink. Once more, inhale up. And exhale, sink. Extended side angle. So elbow to the knee or to the block. Not the elbow to the block, the hand to the block. And we'll lift the left arm high here. So bending deep in the front leg, pulling back on the left hip. Take the hand to the heart, spin the heart open as you bring that arm back. Hmm. Really feeling that wide open, ready for anything type pose. Dial that arm by the ear, reaching towards the right of the room. Bring the right arm out as well. Bring the hands down as you bend into the back knee, rainbow warrior. And then inhale, coming all the way forward, planting the back knee. Gazing up, plant the hands, step back this time, downward facing dog. And you can just move your blocks. Breathing deep. Let's drop the knees. This time bring them really wide and we'll set back to the heels and bring the hands around to grab the heels. So it's kind of like a rock pose, a hybrid. Breathing into the back of the heart. Coming back to center, back to breath. One more inhale. And release. Start to lift the chest up. And we'll come into camel pose. So go ahead and come up on your knees. And again, if you need something underneath, uh, roll up a blanket or something. You can even roll the, roll the mat back and place that underneath the knees as well. So I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. And just roll it back, like so. So the toes can be untucked, or you can tuck them. See what feels better, it kind of changes where the, where the pressure is on the knees. And spring the hands to the sacrum. So the hands can be kind of like going in jean pockets, or if it feels nice to have them, the fingertips coming up. But the way that I like to do camel pose, is start to bend the hips back. So this already starts to create the curve in the back, gazing up, and then I'll inhale, press the hips forward so I already have the curve, and then I start to gaze up or gaze back. Pulling in the belly to protect the low back. One more inhale. And then exhale, leaving the head back. Just start to send the hips back. Head comes up last. Untuck the toes, sit back on the hips, plant the hands. Take about three rounds of breath. Sometimes we can get a little lightheaded here. This is a big heart opener. Really resetting that muscle memory of the hunched, the hunched posture that we have. So much of our culture as well. We're doing things in front of us, texting, driving, really helping to reset that in the body. Let's come up again for camel pose. So you can do the camel pose that I just showed you, or we can do dance in camel. You can do one of each. So we'll come up. I'm gonna tuck the toes. I think I like that better. Today I like that better. 
So I'm gonna take the right hand down to my heel. And you can even do this with the hand at, um, at the hip as well, whatever feels better. So inhale, the left arm goes back, kind of what we did at the beginning. And then I'll exhale, swing around, kind of send the hips back. And then inhale, open. Exhale, swing around. Inhale, open. Let's do it once more on each side and then we'll take a quick full camel. They're both really good. Of course, I like the flowy stuff. Inhale, come up. And then just come back to center and we'll take a, one more camel here. So again, fingertips, upper fingertips down. But we wanna make sure that the shoulders are coming back. We're wanting to open that heart space. So you could even take the hands behind and do it more um, the way that we've been doing it with the one fist behind the back. So let's try it that way. Let's take the fist behind the back. Start to bend the hips down to get the arch in the back. On an inhale, start to lift up, pulling the hands back, dropping the head. Big inhale here. Exhale, sink the hips. Head comes up last, and sitting back. And we'll take one more camel pose. So again, tuck the toes, or untuck the toes, up to you. Take the hands behind the back, fingertips up or fingertips down. Start to bend in the hips, creating that curve in the back. Gaze up. On an inhale, send the hips forward. The curve's already there, and start to gaze back even farther, let the neck hang, another inhale here, and exhale, come out the way you came in, sticking the butt out, letting the hips find the heels, head comes up last, hands to the thighs, breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. Let's bring the legs out in front of us. And unroll that. Legs out in front. Let's take a forward fold so you can bring the bum out behind you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Release the head. So we're going to keep moving with the breath. Inhale, lift halfway, find length. And exhale, fold. Drop the head. Inhale, halfway lift. The knees can be bent here. You can even have a rolled up blanket there. It's nice. Exhale, fold. And inhale, lift all the way up. Hands up. Let's pull the left foot in. Janu Shirshasana. Toes flex back. Inhale, lift up and exhale, pour forward. Again, moving with breath. So inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. So imagine a wave. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And again, relax it down. Hands come all the way up. Plant the left hand outside of the hip. The right hand comes out towards the right foot and we'll swing it all the way open. Press the ground away, lift the hips. Kind of sundial that arm all the way back. Hips, heart, and head. Come back and open, big side body stretch. One more inhale. Exhale, come back down and we'll switch sides. One of my favorite poses. Bring the right foot in. Flex the left toes back. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise. Twice with your breath. Exhale. 
Inhale, find length, find space. And exhale, utilize. And again. Come all the way up. Plant right hand outside, right hip, left arm towards the foot, and we'll swing it around as we come up onto the hand and the knee, head, hips, heart, hand, everything comes up and forward and open. Long line from fingertips to toes. Another inhale. Hmm. Exhale, sink it back down. Bring both legs long. Let's roll down onto the back. Bring the knees into the chest and a shimmy side to side here. Mm, give it a little, the low back a little massage. Extend the left leg long. We'll pull in the right knee. Inhale, and then exhale. Let's take it across the body. Spinal twist. So the gaze can go to the left, or you can turn it to the right if that's available for you. And just close the eyes. And breathing. So like I said before, it's really easy for us to be happy and to, you know, touch on that happiness when things are going really, really well. But we don't have control necessarily over that. So where can we find sweetness in all the things, find lessons in all the things? And the things that are difficult provide us the best lessons. But being okay with what with what is, requires us knowing what is. And that's where yoga is so beneficial on, you know, taking that inventory. Where's my mind? Where's my breath? How is my body? You know, becoming compassionately honest with ourselves. And inhale, come back to center and let's switch sides. So bring the left leg in, right leg comes out. Breathing in and then releasing as we twist the knee to the right. And you can gaze either to the right or you can gaze over towards the left. Imagine you can just wring something out right here. You can wring out some worry of something that you have no control over. or some resentment of an expectation that you had of something that you can't, um, yeah, that we don't have control over. That's a really big lesson. Covers a lot, realizing that we're um, not in charge. Being able to be adaptable and to experience all the things, all the emotions. Not trying to cover things up or push them away. And coming back to center, pulling both knees into the chest, Rocking side to side. I'll show you a, a heart opener here. Supportive fish pose. You can do it a couple of different ways. So I'll show you with blocks and then you can also take a pillow. So the pillow you would just lay across right here. You could roll up a blanket and take it across the bra line. It's a really nice heart opener. But I'll show you one with blocks. 
So I'm gonna place it starting about the mid back, and this is going long ways, and it's starting about mid back. And it's kind of coming up between the shoulder blades. The head will rest on a, another block, and you can place it uh, high, or you can place it lower. And just really check in with your body and see what feels right for you today, because the pose you were in the other day might not be the pose you need right now. You can bring the knees in, the feet wide, palms come up. This is such a wonderful pose. And all the poses, whether you're lying over a pillow or over a folded towel or blanket, just being able to relax into this heart opening position. It's really vulnerable and receiving position. Imagine radiating from the heart space on an inhale and then sinking down and opening on an exhale. Inhale, radiating, beaming out. And then exhale. So if you'd like to take the blocks away here and go ahead and lie back into Shavasana. Legs long, palms up, you can do that here. You're welcome to stay in this resting pose, this restorative heart opener as well. Before we start moving, let's just do a quick scan of the body. So starting down at your toes, sending some energy down there and your awareness down to the toes. And then feeling that awareness and energy, maybe you add a color to it, maybe it's a blue energy. Maybe imagine it swirling up the ankles and the calves. And that blue energy swirling around the knees and up the thighs and to the hips the pelvic bowl, swirling blue energy. Maybe there's some warmth attached. And swirling blue energy around and inside the belly, the torso and the heart space inside the ribs and around the ribs. And then from the heart expanding down the arms, the upper arms, the elbows, forearms, and into each one of your fingers. You can imagine it coming back up the arm, swirling around the throat space, the head. Then coming out the top of the, the top of the crown of the head. And every time you inhale, let's feel that blue energy expanding. And then exhale, coming back all the way into the heart center. Inhale, expansion all around the body of the blue healing energy. And then exhale, coming back down into the heart space as if you're emanating love and healing. One more big inhale. And exhale. So 
So if you're on props, be very aware that you're on props and move slowly to one side or the other. There's not really a graceful way to come out of it. So just take an aware path. Lay on your side and take a round of breath in and out. Plant the top hand, press the ground away. Heavy torso, kind of walk yourself up and around and we'll come into a seated pose. You can pull your bum out from behind you to help the pelvis sit forward. Close your eyes. Breathing into space. There's a quote by Marianne Williamson that something like what the ego says is that when everything falls into place, then I will find peace. But the spirit says, once I find peace, everything will fall into place. One more big inhale to all the spaces that you created. Exhale, hands together at heart center. May you feel all the emotions, the fear, the anger, the joy, the happiness. And be able to live a full life. And being okay with all of those, because all of those are a part of a full life. Embrace all of those emotions. Hmm. Thumbs to the third eye, the seat of our inner wisdom, the place in us that knows, even if it feels covered up at times, Know that we're always coming back, coming back to this place of intuition and inner wisdom. And as we have it in us, others have it in them, and we bow to that part in us and that part in everyone else. Namaste. Thank you all so much. May you go forth with happiness in your heart and a wide open heart to receive it all. From everyone here at Yoga TX, thank you so much. So blessed to be part of your practice. Namaste.